Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. Square root of x plus 2 square root of x equals x plus 2. Now if you have a problem like this, I hope you will not be scared because you will see it as um, a complex problem, a difficult problem. It is not difficult if you know what to do. This and this can be added. Okay. And, um, okay, as a matter of fact, we have root x common to these two terms. Here now there will be 1, plus here there will be 2. This is equal to x plus 2. Root x multiplied by 3 is equal to x plus 2. Now, what will I do? I can multiply this to get 3 root x equals x plus 2. Now, what do you think you will do again? Our next target is to remove these roots from here. And the only way we can do that is by squaring both sides. So we will square this. Then on the other side, don't square this separately. You combine them and square. Okay, you can only square if you have um, two sides. So we consider this one side and we consider the whole of this one side. So you must square them together. This square here belongs to 3. So 3 squared will give 9. Then the same square belongs to root x so this can now go with this and we have x left this will be here we have x plus 2 in two places because of the square on it right now 9x is x times x is x squared x times 2 that will be plus 2x then 2 times x that will be plus 2x then 2 times 2 that would be plus 4 now we have 9x equals x squared plus this that um, this plus this will give 4x then we have plus 4 and you know the rule the one with the highest power should come first so I'll write x squared then plus this is 4x this right here becomes minus 9x and this is plus 4. Everything is equal to 0 because nothing is on the other side anymore. We have our x squared. Then 4x minus 9x is minus 5x. Then we have plus 4. This is equal to 0. Now this is already a quadratic equation. And the question is, how do we solve this? How do you even know that it is a quadratic equation? You will know that it is a quadratic equation because of this um, power of 2. It is also quadratic because of this unknown, um, the unknown variable. And again, it's quadratic because of this. Okay, so this means that there are three things that make... Um, an equation to be a quadratic equation one the unknown variable two the power of two I mean the highest power of two and then the equality sign okay now how do we solve this let me rewrite it better so we're having this now as quadratic minus 5x plus 4 equals 0 I think we can solve this by factorization Okay, two numbers we multiply to get plus 4, and we add them to get minus 5. The numbers will be minus 4 and minus 1. Because minus 4 times minus 1 will give us some plus 4. Then minus 4 plus minus 1 will give us minus 5. Now, what are the two factors? x minus 4 is a factor from here 
and then x minus 1 is also a factor and both of them will be multiplied to give 0 and because we are multiplying two terms to get 0 it means that either of them or both both of them are equal to 0 so we're going to write x minus 4 equals 0 or x minus 1 equals 0 from here x will be equal to 0 plus 4 or x will be equal to 0 plus 1 sorry I wrote out of sight now x is this plus this is 4 or x is equal to 1 therefore we have our x to be equal to 4 or x to be equal to 1 so from here we have the two solutions but then the question is will these two solutions satisfy the equation square root of x plus 2 square root of x equals x plus 2 will this satisfy let's work with the first value of x we'll have square root of 4 that is the first value of x plus 2 square root of 4 now will this be equal to 4 plus 2 now if you continue square root of 4 is 2 plus 2 multiplied by 2 because square root of 4 is also 2 okay then on the other side we're having 4 plus 2 and that is 6 mind you this is 2 plus 4 and it's 6 so this means that the first value of x which is um equals 4 satisfies the equation perfectly now let's try the other value of x okay so this is the equation and we have um, verified x equals 4 to be true now we want to verify x equals 1 that means that here now we have um, square root of 1 plus 2 square root of 1 equals 1 that we are trying to check whether it will be equal 1 plus what plus 2 because x is 1 square root of 1 is 1 plus square root of um, 1 is 1 the 1 times 2 is 2 on the other side we have 1 plus 2 so this is obvious that um, we have 3 and we have 3 so this means that both of them x equals 4 or 1 satisfy the the equation thank you for watching to the end and if you love my method subscribe to my channel so that um you can always um get to see my videos thank you for being there